Hey, Abiding Presence, I'm excited to announce that your leadership is in the final planning to return to worship on the weekend of September 19th and 20th. Since that spike that we saw in July changed our initial plan, a return to worship planning committee, the executive council, and your staff have been prayerfully watching the now significant downturn in COVID statistics. So yes, the virus remains among us, but as we move forward, we are going to follow strict guidelines to help coexist with COVID as safely as possible. On the weekend of September 19th and 20th, we will resume our normal worship service schedule, Saturday night at 5.30, Sunday morning 8.30 and 11. Worship is going to look and feel a little bit different than it was whenever we were gathered prior. Here are a few things that you can expect. Reservations are going to be required, and you can, re- you can reserve your spot on our website. This is the best way possible for us to plan ahead for the number of people worshiping each weekend. This also serves as a guide to make sure that our sanctuary doesn't exceed 25%. Face masks are going to be required whenever you enter the building. If you arrive without a face mask, that's okay. A disposable mask can be provided for you, and children 10 and under do not need to wear a face mask. All worshipers that come will enter through the double wooden doors, and we ask that you try to maintain that six-foot distance and wait to enter. Family units are going to be ushered to the available seats on arrival, so we're not going to be saving spaces for anybody, uh, for those that are arriving late. All of the worship materials, the worship bulletin, and the communion wafers will be in your seats prior to sitting down. All children are welcome in the sanctuary. We also will have take-home bags with children's worship materials available to you as you enter the building. Our booster seats are not going to be used right now, and until we have a a better handle on COVID, the nursery is going to be closed. The worship service will include congregational singing and prayers, and it's suggested that soft singing or humming with a face mask is generally safe. Family units will be ushered to approved exit doors following worship, and restrooms will be open and be cleaned following each worship service but all other areas of the building will be closed. The sanctuary, the entry, the exit paths will all be professionally cleaned following each worship service. We do ask that you continue to maintain six-foot distance as you enter and exit the building. And we ask that people not congregate in the courtyard or on the sidewalks. But the outdoor chapel is available for social distant gatherings. If you're feeling ill, or have had a fever over the last 72 hours, we ask, stay home, take care of yourself. All are welcome to worship, and we will not turn anyone away based on age or or supposed vulnerabilities. This is the same plan that we had back in July, and if you want, there are other videos available on this YouTube channel that explain what to expect as we gather differently in the coming weeks. Now, while We know not everyone is ready to return to worship in the sanctuary. We cannot contemplate doing so without adequate volunteer help. If you are planning to return, I ask you to also consider serving in some capacity on our new worship support teams. Now, this is different from what you remember our welcome teams. They have substantially different roles to play, and we all work together to return to worship safely. And there's training provided for that. Join us on Wednesday evening, September 2nd at 7 p.m., or Saturday, September 5th at 10 a.m., right here at Abiding Presence. Just call the church and let us know that you're coming. Abiding Presence will continue to offer online worship each weekend for those who are not ready to return. The online experience will change as well as we transition to a new recorded live worship service. I invite you now to pray for your leadership as they continue to listen to God's voice, making decisions and providing direction. I invite you to pray for your staff as they continue to go above and beyond job descriptions and expectations to bring worship and learning and community to you every single day. 
And I invite you to pray for each other, for you are the abiding presence of Christ in the world, and together we are seeking God and serving others in new ways. I look forward to seeing you in the days ahead. Take care.